simply learn your pace your place module 1a part 2 how to value a company introduction hello and welcome to the lesson on company valuation of the financial modeling course by simply learn this lesson is about the way we can value a company valuation of companies is a very intense and fascinating topic as is logical continuation of the basic elements we introduced in part one on valuation modeling. Here we look at the various methods used to value a company and go into some level of detail. The presentation we will go over today should give you a broad overview of the important aspects of how to value a company with some concrete practical examples. Let's now move on to our agenda. Agenda we will start our presentation by looking at backward-looking accounting-based valuation techniques. Those valuations techniques rely heavily on ratio analysis and the calculation of key financial metrics. We will introduce the main group of financial ratios and explain their meanings. We will then describe how accounting metrics can be used in a forward-looking environment through the use of financial projections. We will get to understand more about balance sheet and profit and loss accounts and how some of the items on the balance sheet and in the P&L can be produced forward to extend past financial patterns. We will then describe how accounting metrics can be used in a forward-looking environment through the use of financial projections. We will get to understand more about balance sheet and profit and loss accounts and how some of the items on the balance sheet and in the P&L can be projected forward to extend past financial patterns. Finally, we will look at company valuation technique that focuses entirely on a different approach to valuation and is based on cash flows. The idea of cash flows based valuation techniques is that the value of a company is just the net present value of all its future cash flows. This gives rise to the need to understand very well the riskiness related to cash flows. We will give some ideas about how risky cash flows can be modeled in a probabilistic environment and how this can be integrated into a projection environment by the use of Monte Carlo simulations. Now let's start this exciting presentation. Backward-looking accounting-based valuation techniques. Backward-looking accounting valuation techniques rely on aggregated financial data available usually in a company's annual report. Data available in this kind of report can be looked at across time and the analysis of how various key financial metrics evolve through time provides us with some clues about the theoretical value of a company. Financial ratios are useful because they are easy and quick to calculate, while at the same time 